Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about indicator sequence. Let me just get rid of that. The indicator sequence is very similar to this part of the software. The only difference is that you have predefined rules for uh, indicators which are a bit more complex and have more than two elements, let's say. Like we have uh, stochastic, which has two elements, two lines, MICD, which has three elements, and so on and so forth. I have a very interesting example here. This is Kiwi over one hour chart, and we have a cell position. However, if you understand the divergences a bit, you probably already see the potential that there could be a bullish divergence forming right here. So in this example, we are going to manage this position and I'm gonna show you how you can protect your exposure if there is divergence against you. And it's really, really easy. So what is divergence? Divergence means the price and the indicators are going in the different directions. If the price is making lower lows, while the indicator is making higher lows, that means they are diverging, they're moving in the opposite direction. And this is usually when the price is giving us corrections or pullbacks. So that being said, very quick introduction to divergences. Let's, um, let's set it up. We have Kiwi door, Kiwi door here, 322, 322, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I will take, take let's say 30% off if this happens. Uh, and I'm gonna select indicator sequence and I'm going to choose now. You have two options. You can be working with the histogram divergence. You can be working with the moving average divergence. Let's, in this example, use the histogram. Now for histogram, you can see that you have two options. You have MACD green histogram makes a top or MACD red histogram makes a bottom. What does that mean in very simple words? Green histogram making a top is exactly this. So the bars are going up and then they start going down. Once this happens right here and we have one bar, second bar going lower at the end of this candle, the software knows that we have a top here, okay? For a histogram is the same, they're going lower and once it ticks up, okay, like here or here or here, or here, we know that we have a bottom. So the assumption is that if the price goes lower and we go into a red histogram and, and at some point we tick to the upside, at this very moment, it looks like uh, the momentum is slowing down. This is much lower than this. And basically it looks like a possible divergence is on the way. Now, this is not ideal, right? It could change, but this is why this is only semi-automated. Okay, you still need to, to be around, you still need to manage this position, but you can go out and leave this thing for a few hours on its own. It will be perfectly fine. So um, enough with the warnings, let's go ahead and set it up. What do we need is MACD red histogram bottom. So if the red histogram creates a bottom here, okay, I would like to close position or move the stop loss to break even and partial close. In my case, I'll just uh, close position and it will be partial close because I'm handling only 30% of this entire 0.4 lots, right? Why not moving the stop? Well, again, it, it's not the best example, but let's say that the entry is too close, right? That's why we have the option to only take partial rather than moving it uh, to break even plus partial, for example. So this is how it works. Um, I hope this makes it clearer. And of course, the logic for the rest of the indicators is pretty much the same. But having these options right here predefined, as you can see, it's really easy if you have a bit of imagination and a bit of skills, technical skills, and uh, you understand how to work with your indicator, it's very easy to set it up. And this thing could deliver amazing opportunities for us. 
it's really flexible so i kind of like it <laughs> all right thank you for watching